Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier, and in this guitar lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Anyone by Justin Bieber. It's a lovely little song, it's easy to play. Just before I teach you it though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video as well, and leave me some comments in the comment section, including any songs you want to learn, uh, where you come from, uh, and what you think of the video. If you want to print these tabs off, I'll also put them on my Patreon account. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well. My guitar is in standard tuning, you can play it on any type of guitar. Uh, we've got a verse to learn, a bridge, a chorus, and there's also a little build in there as well. So the verse goes like this. So the chords are a D chord, which is your second finger on E2, first finger on G2, and your third finger on B3. And you're just going to play from the D string downwards. So that's the D chord. The next chord we need is a G chord. There's two ways of playing this G. You could use your little finger on E3, third finger on B3, and your second finger on E3 nearest to your face, and your first finger on A2. So that's the way I've written it there, but you could also play it just with your third finger on E3, second finger on the E3 nearest to your face, and first finger on A2. Either way of playing the G chord is fine on this song. Now the next chord is a D slash F sharp, which means it's a D chord, but the lowest note is an F sharp. It's actually quite easy to play. We're going to put our first finger on the E string nearest to your face on the second fret, so E2. Second finger on G2, and your third finger on B3. And you want your first finger to touch the A string so it doesn't ring, and we're going to play down, and also we don't want the E string nearest to the floor to ring either. So hopefully they'll naturally get muted off the A string and the E string nearest to the floor. So that's D slash F sharp, and the last chord is an A chord, which is your first finger on D2, second finger on G2, and third finger on B2, and play from the A string downwards. Okay, and we just put those in that order. Uh, each one lasts for four beats. Here we go, one, two, three, Four, D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, sharp, two, three, four, A, two, three, and then it repeats. So that's the verse. Um, sometimes it feels a bit boring just playing one chord per bar. So if you wanted to put a r r rhythm to it, we could go. So that's just going down, down, up, down. Nice simple little rhythm. Down, down, up, down. It just makes it feel a bit more interesting. So let's try it. Two, three, four. So that repeats. And then we get a bridge part, which goes. Okay, so for that, this is the trickiest chord in there. We've got a B minor chord, which is your first finger on A2, second finger on B3, third finger on D4, a little finger just underneath it on G4. That's a B minor chord. And we only want to play the middle four strings. We don't want to play either of the E strings for this B minor chord. And then the next um, chords we've used all before. So you've got a G chord then, then D slash F sharp, then A, then a D chord, then a G chord, then D slash F sharp, and then the last bar, there's four beats without a chord in it. It's just, um, you just leave it silent. So let's just try that. One, two, three, B minor. Two, three, G, D slash F sharp, A, Four. And then we get to the chorus, which sounds like this. So 
So for that we play the D slash F sharp and then we're going to jump to a G chord on beat four and. So it goes one, two, three, four and. Or up to speed it goes one, two, three, four and. And then we go to the B minor on the two and in the next bar. So uh, let me just play that for you. So D slash F sharp to the G to the B minor. It goes a one, two, three, four. And then we go to an A chord on beat one of the third bar of the chorus. So it goes D to the sharp, G, B minor, A, two, three, four, one, two, and it repeats. So that just goes around in the chorus, and then there is a little um, four beats rest before it goes back to the verse, then does the bridge and chorus. And then there's a little build that goes. So for that, each one of these chords you're just going to play eight times strumming down, but let's just learn the chords first. We've got D5, which is open D, we've got G2 and B3. So it's like a D chord, but we're not going to play the E string, we're only going to play the D, G and B strings. Eight times on that. And then D sus2, so you've got your fingers in the same place, but we want the E string to ring on this second bar. The next bar is D sus4, so we're going to add our little finger onto E3, and we're going to play that eight times, then D eight times, B minor eight times, uh, actually B minor, there's two bars of it, so we've got 16 times, and then A for a bar, and then a bar of rest. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward, I think, let's just try that build, here we go, one, two, three, four. And then it just goes back to the chorus. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out. It's Andy Hillier. Um, if you can give me a like on the video as well, and leave me some comments in the comment section. It's really interesting for me to hear it from you guys. Let me know where in the world you're from. Any songs you want to learn, I do read pretty much every comment that goes on my videos. Uh, and if you want to support me, keep me going, you like what I'm doing, I've got a Patreon account. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. I've said it just like as cheaply as possible. Uh, so go and check that out. I put loads of tabs on there. So hopefully you'll like that. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.